So it's about 1.30 a.m. and I'm going to do a quick live broadcast because I told myself I would, no matter what happened here. And boy, have the Boston Red Sox blown it. As the news has recently broken that John Lester has signed with the Cubs. I'll hesitate a little bit before I post this video just in case that's not confirmed. But all indications are that John Lester's going to the Cubs. And you know what? I couldn't be happier for him, honestly. The Red Sox screwed him over so many times over. It's just, only the Red Sox could miss out on a player that said he wanted to stay here, that pretty much made it clear as day that he wanted to retire here. That doesn't happen anymore in today's baseball or even sports world, where players retire the same place they started at. The Red Sox treated him like crap by trading him midway through the season, and then, just to put the cherry on top, the Red Sox lost out by about $20 million to the Cubs. Really? And I'm picturing the Red Sox right now, I'm picturing their lazy-ass ownership right now, sitting there going, uh, six years, $135 million. Yep, well, you like us a lot, so whatever. Just like last year, oh, four years, $70 million. Are you kidding me? They give you more than that for Rusne Castillo. They give more to Pablo Sandoval. They give more to Hanley Ramirez. But they can't bring back John Lester over a few freaking million dollars. You know what? Good for him. Good for Lester going to the Cubs. I hope he wins there. The Red Sox aren't going anywhere. They weren't going anywhere anyway. I don't really blame him for not picking the Red Sox. Red Sox are going down in flames, and I'm just done with it. I am done. And that was the final straw for me. I am sick and tired of this organization not re-signing their own players. Players that they develop. Players that prove that they can play here. Even players they bring here for prospects. They just let those go too. Trade Cespedes. Trade whoever you need to to get some middling starter that's not going to amount to anything that Lester was here. I am pissed. I was pissed the whole time with how this was handled. The way the negotiations were just kind of dragged on. It was. It became clearer and clearer as the season went on that they weren't going to re-sign Lester. And then in free agency, they got your hopes up that they were really going to be serious this time. They were really going to go after him. And sure enough, it came down to the Red Sox and the Cubs. It, you know what? The Cubs wanted him more. The Cubs made a good pitch. The Cubs offered him more money. The Cubs had a lot more going on than the Red Sox, who were going to stick to their numbers no matter what. They're going to stick to their stick to philosophy, bring in some more overpriced players. Maybe they'll do well. Maybe they won't. I don't really care anymore. I'm done. I'm not getting my hopes up for any more Red Sox prospects, any more Red Sox good players, any more feel-good stories about people coming up through the system who want to stay here. Guess what? You're not going to stay here. No matter how well you do, they're going to blowball you, and you're going to go somewhere else, and I don't blame any of you for wanting to get away from this middling organization. That's my rant for today. It's a good thing I'm a little tired or I'd have a lot more to say. I've been on this pretty much since the offseason started. I mean, to me, it was Lester or Bust. I don't care if they brought in everybody else. you got to bring back John Lester. That was my main point of contention going into this offseason because they blew up the world champion Red Sox for pretty much no reason as far as I'm concerned. They got rid of Andrew Miller. They got rid of John Lackey. They got rid of John Lester. They didn't get any of them back, and nor should they have because who wants to come back to this, this mediocrity? They got a bunch of more outfielders. They got Pablo Sandoval for God knows what reason. Why? Why did they need Pablo Sandoval for? Another third baseman to just kind of plug up the hole with freaking Hanley Ramirez and the other people and Will Middlebrooks going to move Ramirez to the outfield where they already have 20 freaking players, but they don't have any starting pitching. This team is just stupid. They're all very stupid. They spend money on just anything, and then... I'm just done. Good night.